I'm Nick Hammond. Um, I'm from the Dalles, Oregon. I um, work for Curtis Orchards here in the Dalles and worked there my whole life. And when I graduated high school in 2000, I started full time. And um, that was my first year pruning and really getting into that. And I, I, I liked it and I seemed to pick it up pretty good. I had always done that with my parents back in the peaches. And that's turned into something that I really enjoy. You know, we spend a lot of our year pruning and um, it's, it's a very fun thing. It kind of makes or breaks your whole year and it, it's definitely an art form that not any, just anybody can do. You know, it's a, a job that you must love, I feel, you know, to be able to do a good job at it. Um, especially to train new people that are coming into it. Our, our pruning systems have gotten very advanced and um, you got to be on top of your game. For, for us, you know, we, we farm um, bush trees, Australian bush trees, and uh, central leader trees, and steep leader trees. Um, we used to do more of an old open vase system. Um, me and my boss, Gary Curtis, went up to um, Yakima area some years ago and seen some steep leader trees, and we decided to switch over to that system. And um, we've had very good results from it. We've got very nice fruit. Our street structure is, is really nice. and. Um, we, we strive to have the best fruit that we can. We may not pick the most tons per acre, but everything that we pick is very nice. We've started planting a lot closer. You know, our old spacings may be 20 foot apart. We're going 10 by 16. Bush trees, we're going six and a half by 15. You know, trying to get everything tight and production up, get our tons per acre up, but maintain nice big fruit. The, the biggest benefit to some of these newer systems is you know, obviously some people worry about labor shortage and it, it's, you know, having people up on ladders is dangerous. And especially in the old trees, I mean, you're using 14 footers. We're trying to get everything down to, you know, a max ladder height of maybe 10 foot. You know, our trees, we're trying to keep, you know, our tallest trees in the tight plantings are around 12 foot, 10, 12, you know, 12 to 11, 12 foot. Um, and our bush trees, we're not even using ladders, you know, we're cutting them off at eight foot to try to have that pedestrian orchard to just make everything faster and safer and try to get our pickers to keep coming back. You know, it's hard to, with the younger people in the picking crews to go pick these great big old trees, they're hard to do and it's slow and they don't make near as much money as they can on these young places where they don't have to climb up and down the ladder 20 times a day, 50 times a day. And we can also have a little bit of a smaller crew because they are more efficient which helps us, you know, with some, we haven't really had trouble with labor shortage, but everybody keeps saying that, so that's kind of moving us to have a shorter, easier to pick orchard. I just honestly love the farm. Um, it's an ever-changing thing. We never do the same job for more than a couple months. You know, it's something that is constantly changing. There's always something that happens, or there's something new that comes out. There's new varieties, there's new rootstocks, there's new pruning systems. You know, things like this freeze that happened, there's always something to work over or past. You know, it's never the same thing every day. And for me, I, I love that because, you know, when you do the same routine every day, you get bored with it. You know, and with this, it keeps us on our toes. We're constantly moving forward, we, you know, and we're learning new things. So we're not really getting stalled out. We have to keep moving forward.